Hello guys, we are back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. As you know, my name is Rizky. Oh yeah, greetings, greetings. I mean, <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today, uh, we are back at the listening comprehension assignment five. Without any further ado, let's get started. The first one, part one, completing script. Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my culture was shaped. Is that a multicultural society? Yes, it is. My culture is a diverse mix of customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? Well, it has a long history around 10,000 years ago. What custom do you like most? I like practicing dining adequate. That's what makes me American whenever I travel to other countries. What are traditional costumes of men and women in your country? Cowboy hats and boots are American styles, but nowadays jeans and t-shirts are more preferable. Are you comfortable with your with the traditions and customs of your culture? Of course, I was born with it. How do people greet each other? Well, it depends on the situation. In an informal communication, people just say, Hi! Have you ever felt drawn to another land? Yes, I'm interested in Indian culture. I wish I can get there someday to attend a typical Indian wedding. So. It's all about two people talking about culture. Hmm. American culture, very interesting. So let's move on to the next task. Part two, retelling story. This one is about uh, cats and dogs. Okay, so listen to me carefully. Alberto and Mimi are the main characters. Retell the whole story using my own words. The story is about cats and dogs. One day, there's a cat named Alberto. He takes one look at his new neighbors and knows that his life is going to get more difficult. He watches them arrive in their big noisy car and watch them get out. There are two of them, as big and as noisy as their car, smelly and stupid as well. He thinks that they are terrible. He is going to tell Mimi. She is a friend he lived with. Mimi and Alberto saw hateful with their new neighbors. They despise them. Alberto and Mimi are going to ignore them. Such as when their neighbors went for a walk, they didn't say hello to them. When in their garden, Alberto and Mimi going inside. Until a few days, things didn't stay that way. One day, Alberto woke up from his sleep to find one of the neighbors in his garden. Alberto and Mimi called their staff to get rid of their neighbors from the garden. Their, the neighbor went back to his own garden eventually. Over the next few days, this activity on repeat over and over. Sometimes they found, on, they found one or other or both of their new neighbors walking around Alberto and Mimi's garden. Then, Alberto and Mimi went to their neighbor's garden at night to revenge. They broke out their flowers. The next morning, one of their neighbors came. Last night, you came into our garden and broke all of the flowers, and now I'm in trouble. They think I did it. Who are they? Alberto asked. My owners, of course, he replied. Alberto surprised that they have owners instead of staff. The cats are calling their human staff. Alberto told everything to Mimi, and Mimi said, That is not a surprise, that explains everything. Alberto and Mimi came up with an idea to change the dog's owner to become staff, but to no avail. Because the dogs didn't understand the instructions that Mimi and Alberto gave, they even become friendly. The instructions, such as sitting on human's newspaper while they are reading it, sleeping on human's bed, and, silly enough, try to meow and scrape 
of bark, etc. They eventually give up. That's why dogs have owners and cats have staff. So that's the end of the part two. The last part, part three, answer the questions. Number one, what did the boy like best about the zoo? The answer is, of course, the porcupines. Number two, what did the elephant do at the zoo? Hmm, he threw dirt on the family with his trunk. This one is hard enough for me because the baby speaks so the I mean the son speaks so cute so cute his son is very very adorable I cannot comprehend what he said so I'm guessing uh, over a thousand times I mean over until over, over a thousand times repeatedly I listened to it and finally I knew well sort of you know a little bit guess but the point is the boy sound is very cute number three what can we infer about the bird show one bird was naughty it did something to the man hmm, I wonder number four where did the boy see the butterflies the answer inside a little building made of glass number five continue Retail and give details about the zoo. Okay, the conversation is about father and the boy, which is very cute sounded. I remember visiting the zoo before going to bed. The father asked, what did you like best about the zoo? The boy said, porcupines. There are also a few things interested in the zoo, such as two giraffes that so tall over the father's head, and there's elephant that throw dirt with his trunk feeding some white ducks, a bird show, and butterflies inside glass building. They couldn't fly out because there was air coming down. Hmm, that's the end of the third part. So again, I appreciate all of you coming to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you Mr. Anga.